Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So why is 10,000 steps a day the magic number that people believe they have to reach? Indeed, the first time I got my fitness tracker and I set it up, 10,000 steps a day was the default. Also, at work, I see people religiously during their lunch break walking around and around the building to get their numbers up to 10,000 steps a day. Let's take a look at this latest study and find out what the real number is and also find out why we were told that 10,000 steps a day is the number that we should try and strive for. This is the review of a piece I read that was penned by Michael Precker where he covers a study out of the University of Massachusetts in Amherst looking into the real number of steps needed per day to help prevent cardiovascular disease. And there are links in the description below to the articles I used to put this presentation together. So why is 10,000 steps the accepted standard? It is a worthy, healthy goal to take 10,000 steps each day. 10,000 is now the go-to number that everybody seems to use as the standard. Much like the well-used phrase, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, it didn't come from doctors, physical trainers or nutritionalists. It came from a cereal company, one of the many who now contribute to the massive epidemic of childhood obesity that is sweeping the world. So where did 10,000 steps actually come from? Well, in the mid 1960s, Japanese marketers were trying to sell a pedometer named Mampo Ki or Mampo Kai, which generally translates to 10,000 step meter in English. The Japanese character for 10,000 roughly resembles a person walking. So this is more of a marketing gimmick than a medical fact, much like the breakfast cereal statement. Assistant Professor Amanda Paluch from the School of Public Health and Health Sciences at the University of Massachusetts said, it's a nice clean number and it makes a good marketing message. You can see why it's stuck, but there's not a lot of science behind it. So why is there no magic number when it comes to steps per day? Professor Paluch is the lead researcher of a new meta-analysis looking at the link between how many steps people take per day and cardiovascular disease. It reinforces the premise that there is no one magic number when it comes to steps, in that any random number could technically be healthier than the number below it. Let's take a look at the analysis. Professor Pouch's team analyzed seven previous studies whose participants wore step counters and also tracked their cardiovascular health. The research encompassed 16,906 adults whose incidence of heart disease, heart failure or stroke was monitored for a median period of over six years. Professor Pouch stated, we brought all these studies together for a large diverse sample. What we're seeing is that the more steps that you do, the more benefit you get. So how was the cohort split up? Professor Pouch's team divided the participants into four groups based on their median number of daily steps, 1,951, 3,823, 5,685 and 9,487 steps per day. The risk of cardiovascular disease fell as the number of steps increased. The most active group had less than half the number of cardiovascular disease events than the least active, 243 events versus 491 cardiovascular disease events. Professor Pouch said, the message is to move more. Don't get caught up in 10,000 or any other number. It's not an all or nothing situation for cardiovascular health benefits. Just getting incremental increases in your steps could be meaningful in your cardiovascular health. Dr. Felipe Lobello, head of the Emory University's Exercise is Medicine Global Research and Collaboration Center in Atlanta said, we knew 
that walking is associated with better health outcomes. But this specific outcome, incidence of cardiovascular disease, makes it stronger. Dr. Labello mentioned that this meta-analysis was also significant because it used step counters to measure activity accurately. He said, in previous studies, most of the evidence we have is from self-reporting exercise. We all tend to overestimate what we do. So what is the next step, if you pardon the pun? The next step regarding steps Powell said is to look at how much intensity of exercise matters and the health benefits beyond cardiovascular disease. She said, we want to look at other outcomes like mental health and cancers. There are many ways that physical activity works on the body and that makes it a great tool for promoting our health and staying healthier for longer. Let's take a look at US federal guidelines. At present, the US federal physical activity guidelines urge adults to sit less and move more and to accumulate at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity each week. That works out at just under 22 minutes per day. Dr. Labello broke down the US requirement by saying, this research shows that the number of steps we should be striving for to generate benefits for cardiovascular disease is lower than 10,000, maybe between 5,000 and 6,000 steps per day, which is pretty much the equivalent of 150 minutes per week. Professor Pouch closed by saying, for many people, the figure of 10,000 can be intimidating, no matter how appropriate it may be for a marketing campaign. If you're not there, don't become overwhelmed and throw in the towel. Think about progressive improvements and working them into your lifestyle and your schedule. Park further from the store, take the stairs instead of the elevator. The great thing about steps is we can fit them into our daily lives. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. It looks as though marketers have again been lying to us in an effort to line their own pockets. As Dr. Labello said, 10,000 steps a day can for some people seem overwhelming. And in some cases, some people give up before they even start because of that number. Um, it's important to remember what he also said, which was to hit national guidelines with regard to US standards, you only need to be somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 steps per day. Ideally, the more you do, the better. Um, he also mentioned about people overestimating what they do, and I was quite shocked after I got my first fitness tracker to see the number I actually achieved compared to what I thought I was achieving. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.